A message from the Lord God to my peoples of Israel, the fourth message. Thus says the Lord God to all of my peoples of Israel, I love you dearly, my covenant peoples, whom I have brought back to your land after nearly two days in captivity in the nations of the earth. I have renewed my covenant with you that I gave to your forefathers and have now given you the first fruits of the fulfillment of that covenant by bringing you home and rebuilding your ruins and removing the wastelands, filling them with the fruits of your labors. You have indeed multiplied greatly in the nations, for which many, many more of you need to come back home to Jacob than even know that they exist. I promise that you would multiply in your land, but I, your Lord God, say unto you that you have multiplied as the sands of the sea and the depths of the sea of nations. Nevertheless, bring your peoples and your brethren home to the bosom of Jacob, where all of his children await them. Bring home those you know of and those who profess to be of me and of the house of Jacob. Build them new villages and towns and cities for them to rest from their long time away from your sweet and luscious lands I have restored unto you. Provide for them and care for them, and I, your Lord God, shall give you the means to give them provision, and for your provision as well. For I tell you a mystery. I, your Lord God, who created the heavens and the earth, seeded the peoples and nations with provision from when I built the foundations of the earth. I, your Lord God, have once again allowed your land to flow with milk and honey, as it once had long, long ago when you were but a youthful child. But now you are mature and wiser than ever before in this age of the knowledge and wisdom of mankind. Therefore, I, your Lord God, give you a love offering to come back unto me in completeness and totalness in your completeness of being. Hearken unto this. Your land flows with milk and honey, but as the sands of the sea shift and merge, come and go, giveth or taketh away, I, your Lord God, have shifted the treasures of the earth back unto you in finality, where you shall have provision forevermore. Your lands will flow once again, but with milk and honey of a different sort, one which will show you my divine providence, for which I will give you the proof of the fulfillment of my covenant with you, long ago given to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and others of your forefathers and great men. But you, O Jacob, are the heart of my gift, which spans the widths, breasts, and depths of the earth and seas. But you, O Jacob, have the greatest inheritance. You shall flow with an ever-trickling abundance of my gifts for so long then, in an ever-increasing flow, after which they will become a deluge, and then a flood, that shall indeed cover your land in not just abundance, but in an even greater increase than such has ever, ever existed. This flood shall come with such a velocity and ferocity that you shall be overjoyed and jubilant in the sweetness of the honey that flows over your legs and chests that then threatens to drown you in abundance. But I, your Lord God, say unto you, when this happens, come back unto me, your God, in fulfillment of your promise to honor, love, adore, obey, and worship me. Accept my love offerings as a gift of betrothal, once again, in which I am the love of your lives, for you absolutely are the love of my life and existence. David, your forefather, was said to be a man after my own heart. And therefore you, O Israel, 
should also be a people's and nation after my own heart, but not just after my own heart, but you should be a people's and nation after my own soul. Be of me, your Lord God. Give praise, honor, and thanksgiving to me for these precious gifts I am giving you now. Give me glory and shout out my holy name to the nations and lands of the whole earth and tell them that I, your Lord God, am the one true and living God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and now also of Joseph. Tell them I am the one true and living God of all of Israel. Do this and praise and worship me where you lay your heads, kneel on your knees, and stand on your feet, and I, your Lord God, will give you the keys to bring me back to reside with you once again. These keys have I secreted away with one, a son of Jacob, who is also part child and grandchild of the house of Jacob, Judah and Joseph, does he hearken from these roots as well as part grandchild of those of the nations from whence I have brought you, but in particular of a nation of your brethren and of those who love you dearly. These keys I offer to you must you take to glorify your Lord God first and only first in completeness according to this one who holds your keys. These keys are your salvation, both physically in this world and spiritually in me. But I warn you, they can become your undoing as well if you become puffed up in pride in believing that these gifts and keys are of your own hands and not of your Lord God's, for they will indeed be given directly from me from my hand through the one I send you. Lift me up above all gods and peoples and nations and I shall let you use these keys to open the door to the new house I will build amongst you so that I will come and reside with you once again where you will no longer have to praise and worship me only where you lay your heads kneel on your knees and stand on your feet. For you will be able to come to my house where you will absolutely know that the power of my glory resides amongst you. But you will not just know it, but you will see and feel the power of my glory. Open the door to my house of old and up will arise my new house in which you can praise and worship me and announce to the world that you are my children and that I, your Lord God, am here to put my banner of provision and protection on your houses as well as the houses of Jacob that have yet to be rebuilt. Call upon me and me only and I, your Lord God, will fight your battles for you and defeat your enemies as once before of long ago when your forefathers triumphed when led by my Ark of the Covenant. Behold, I will give you a new covenant as prophesied, an Ark of a new covenant to carry in battle against those that do not call my name the Lord God of Israel. Along with the new will I also give you the old as proof of your covenant with me. With this covenantal Ark, I will lead you in battle before your enemies even know that you're coming to defeat them before you meet them in battle. For I, your Lord God, will tell you their hearts and motives before even they know these of their own selves. Then you shall know that I, your Lord God, are with you. Then you shall know that I am the Lord God. But lift not me up, and I will not lift you up in battle. 
Lift me up in completeness and totalness with your praise and the shouts of my name, singing my songs. And I will lift you up over your enemies where they shall be no more. Each enemy that comes against my name, my peoples, my lands, shall be broken and be remembered no more unto anger, hatred, and divisiveness. If the world hated me from time immemorial, they will hate you also because you are of me. Do you not know this? If the world hates you now, they will hate me, your God, even more. Therefore, for all that hatred shall I indeed break them. But not all hate you, just most of the world. For I have seated your brethren and those that love me and love you out amongst the nations to support you and fight with you. But depend not on them, but only on me. For only if you do this and lean on my holy name, shall I then call them to support and fight with you. I am their God too, and thus I will fight their battles also and defeat their enemies too. For you are one in me, and they are one in me, and then therefore they are one in you, and you are one in them. How will you know them? You will know by these things previously, as well as by their fruits and their love for me, and for you, as I said. But I declare not to despair when your friends seemingly reject you. Only despair when your Lord God rejects you. And henceforth will I only reject you if you reject me in the coming times. Reject me not, and I, your Lord God, will turn the hearts of your few friends and brethren completely back unto you, so as to stand with you in all things, no matter the situation, circumstances, or direness. No, however, I will not let your brethren turn away from you for long. So trust in me, and not in them or yourselves for that matter. Together, as one people in me, as one of Israel, you will fight hand in hand against the whole world in eventuality, in due time. But I, your Lord God, will be at the forefront of all of your battles if you place me first in your lives and first in your lands that I have given back unto you. One day very soon will I start restoring it even greater and when that will occur is indeed totally up to you as to when I begin that restoration. It can only begin when you trumpet my name from your hearts to those within your nation, to those who are around you, to those who are your brethren, to those others that love you, as well as to even those who hate you. When you trumpet my name, will I come and let you enter into my rest, enter into my house that I will rebuild. But I will also let you enter into my house before you and I even rebuild it. But only will you have access to it and open it when I hear you call my name to come amongst you and to reside amongst you. Then therefore will I come to deliver you from your fears. I. Your Lord God have set a king in your midst, whom I have placed on the throne of your nation for this time of trouble that has now befallen you and which will continue to befall your nation increasingly and unceasingly in the times ahead. As your hope ebbs and flows for deliverance, as your hope ebbs away because of your enemies who have surrounded you, only I, your Lord God, can protect you and deliver you from your fears of being pushed into the sea where your enemies would snuff your lives out as you try to swim to safety. But my peoples and nation, 
I am here awaiting your call, O Israel. Embrace your king who now leads you, for he by my hand has kept you secure for this day and the days and times ahead in which I am now here and waiting for you to call out my name. Honor your leader, support him and pray for him, and I will guide him until I send one to him who shall be as Samuel the seer, Nathan the prophet, and Gad the seer together as one. For I will bless you through him whom I will send to you soon so that I, your Lord God, can guide and lead you and your king according to my will, my word, and my desire. I, your Lord God, will never leave you again. For coming upon you in the future is a time of trial, testing, and tribulation such as has never occurred before in the whole of the world in which I will judge the nations who have come against you, judge the nations who have sinned against me, judge those nations who live that have ignored and denied me, judge those nations that hated me, and judge those nations that have gone against those that love me in such a way for those that love me, they love me as a bride loves a bridegroom in their first togetherness. For there are indeed many that love me in this way, and I will indeed judge those nations that have gone against those. I, your Lord God, will be there to hear your cries for me when all else fails you. For only will you come to me in totalness as a peoples and as a nation in unity when my great and terrible day of the Lord comes upon the whole world where none against I and none against you, O Israel, will survive. Pray for my presence to come upon you soon for I await your call. Pray for my provision and protection, for only I can deliver you. Pray for my house to be built and sanctified quickly, so that I can rest in your presence. Pray for the one whom I send to you from your brethren, for remember, he is both of you and your brethren, and of your true and faithful friends far across the sea. Pray for me to send him quickly, for he holds the keys to your blessings, your storehouses, and the key to my house. Pray for your king and those who counsel him, so that they will see and hear the one's wisdom and the words of mine that I speak through him. Pray for those who oppose me, for I will judge them quickly as a clap of thunder comes upon the blind. Pray for those that oppose your king, for I have raised him up and set him up. And if he is opposed, and they who oppose him try to depose him, then I, the Lord God, will judge those that do so with not one thunder, but with the cacophony of thunders. Pray for those who don't believe in the one I send, for I am with him always. And their lack of belief will I take as an affront to I, their Lord God. Pray for the people of your brethren still lost amongst the nations, for I soon will bring them to the light, after which great trouble will come amongst them when I reveal them, both to themselves and to the other peoples and nations that they live in and are around them. Pray for your brethren who want to come home, who are still in the nations, for with the one I send will I also send the keys to you bringing home these 
as well as the keys to bring home the lost ones. Pray for your brethren who don't want to come home, for they will soon learn of their folly if they do not come home before my day comes upon the whole world. But for those of your brethren who are in the house of your true friends, for safety they have, but complacency in me will I give them until I test them, try them, refine them, and bring them to me completely. Pray for your friends who are your brethren, for even though you are like squabbling siblings, you are still brethren and cut of the same olive tree, for which they are either already a part of you or have been grafted into you. Pray for those who love you, for they will I bless for just that cause, for your sake and my sake. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for it is my holy city, and its peace is paramount to your peace. Lastly, pray for your enemies, that they do not come upon you and overwhelm you before you call upon me to save you from them. Pray for those who hate you, so that your God will be just and merciful to them, as they are just and merciful to you. Pray for your king, so that he knows you love and support him, that is for those who do. And for those of you that do not love your king, even though you may not love him, you must support him, lest I come and bring judgment to you for not doing so. Pray for your king to have wisdom in me, especially until I send my one to both you and to him. Pray for the one to give you a good report as he goes throughout your lands wide and far, for he will see your hearts open and bare, for I have given him my discernment to see if you honor me, love me, and are obedient to me truly in your hearts. Pray for the one to receive your support and love. For what I, your Lord God, does, he does. What I speak, he speaks. What he speaks, I speak. What I see, he sees. What he sees, I see. What I hear, he hears. What he hears, I hear. What I feel, he feels. And what he feels, I feel. Therefore, in conclusion, lastly, truly lastly, pray for yourselves that you may seek me, call me, and live, eat, and breathe me each and every day and each and every moment of every day of the rest of your lives. And pray that you receive my provision, my protection, my love, my care, my tenderness, my grace, my justice, and my mercy. I love you, O oh my peoples of Israel. I await for your reciprocation. Accept my love offerings, accept my gifts, accept the one whom I send, accept my edict to rebuild my house. For I am your Lord God, the Sovereign, Eternal, and Everlasting Lord Yahweh God Jehovah. I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. I am the awesome God of Joseph. I am the God of all of Israel. Signed, sealed, and delivered 
this Saturday, the 26th of February, 2011, at 7.41 p.m. American Eastern Standard Time. End of message. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh God Jehovah, signed on Saturday, the 26th day of February, 2011, at 7.41 p.m. American Eastern Standard Time. Sealed by the High Servant of the Most High God of all hosts, the High Prophet of the Lord, Yahweh God Jehovah, Tampa Bay, Florida, the United States of America, completed on the first day of Teshuvah, this Thursday, the 8th of August, 2013, delivered the day of revealing this message, this Saturday, the 31st of August, 2013. This message contains the seal of the Lord God indicating its finalization. Completion of message.